Axiom-1. This will be the first all-private crewed mission at the International Space Station. The four-person multinational crew is expected to spend 10 days in space. Mark Strassman caught up with the mission's commander in their final days of training. Michael Lopez Alegria's astronaut resume still sparkles, 10 years after retiring from NASA. Liftoff of the Soyuz rocket transporting Michael Lopez Alegria. Four flights, 10 spacewalks, 257 total days in orbit. You thought that part of your life was over. Yeah, I mean, I was very happy with my NASA flying career and want to go do something different and didn't realize it wouldn't be that different. Now, improbably, at the age of 63, he's going back to space. Lopez Alegria will command Axiom-1, the first all-private mission to the International Space Station. SpaceX provides the ride, the rocket. Axiom Space manages the mission. This really looks like a government NASA mission from the outside. The difference is it's a private company, and these are private customers. And this is a, a real turning point in human spaceflight. His crewmates, Axiom's customers, are American Larry Connor, Canadian Mark Pathy, and Israeli Eitan Stibbe, rich businessmen who paid Axiom millions to fly. Now we take our tool kit with us. Here at the Johnson Space Center, we watch the crew winding down months of training at the space station mock-up. When we go up there, we'll be camping. So we'll lay out our sleeping bag somewhere and in the morning we'll roll it up and get to work. They plan to visit the real thing for about a week, living, working, doing research alongside professional astronauts. These guys are eager, they're smart, they want to perform. You've heard the criticism, this is just a bunch of rich guys on a space junket. Why is this something more than space tourism? First of all, I want to say that I think there is a place for space tourism. It's just that's not what this mission is about at all. We need to span the gamut of experiences from somebody who just wants to have a little taste to somebody who wants a seven-course meal. We're on a seven-course meal plan. In other words, a cosmic leap beyond Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic's quick up-and-down trips to the edge of space. This is something that is the full experience. And I think that there will be an ever-increasing appetite for that. Ignition. Axiom, his employer, is betting on it. The company has chartered three more SpaceX flights. The company's more ambitious goal, to build the first commercial space station. It will start out attached to the ISS. We have a number of corporations and companies who want to do research in space. There's media interest in space. It's a long list of folks. Michael Suffredini is Axiom's CEO. He spent 30 years at NASA, a decade of that running the ISS program. Where does Axe One fit into the bigger picture of where you want to end up? This is the first step in a number of flights that allow us to work with NASA, to learn how to operate together, so that when our module, first module shows up, we can just jump right into it. Just like Lopez Alegria and three space rookies soon will jump into the ISS. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman, Houston. It ain't cheap, but it is historic.